Hello, my name is John Chamberlain. Today we're going to do the Fundamentals of Light and Laser, Course 1, Lab 1-1D, the Polarization of Light. Okay, let's look at the equipment for this lab. We're going to use the mag light that we used from the previous laboratory activity, and again we have the collimating tube, just for convenience. We're going to use a reflecting surface. The lab suggests either a glass slide, or we can also use a plastic surface that has a nice reflecting surface on it. And most importantly, we're going to use the two polarizing filters that you have in your equipment box. We're going to use two 25 millimeter diameter filters that we have on hand here. We're going to have to dim the lights to see this lab, so go with me now as we turn the lights down. In part one of the lab, you'll look at light passing straight through one polarizer that yields polarized light. We really should have looked straight at the light coming from the flashlight, but this will work okay. So the light you're now seeing is polarized by the polarizer. Now if we place a second polarizer in line, we call that the analyzer, and rotate it, you'll notice that the planes of polarization of the two lenses are at 90 degrees angles, or at lined up, or back at minus 90 degrees. You'll notice the effects that you observe. So looking at the light intensity of coming from the polarizer as we rotated the analyzer, we saw a changing intensity. That told us that that light was indeed polarized. So now what happens if we look at the light coming straight from the reflection off of our smooth surface? Ah, we notice a change in intensity of the light as we rotate the analyzer here. So that tells us that light coming from that reflected surface must also be polarized. Okay, so that concludes Lab 1-1D. Now you'll know how the polarizing sunglasses work. And we'll see you next time in Fundamentals of Light and Laser.